Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today let's make a liquid and ice dyed spiral. The shirt was prepped like normal and I have it turned inside out. I'm using a pair of locking tweezers that are coated in plastic to begin the spiral. I like to start my spirals just about level with the armpits of the shirt. Once I have the shirt spiraled, I'm going to hold the folds in place with some rubber bands. I set the shirt aside and got busy working on some other projects, so the shirt ended up drying out before I got back to it. For this shirt, I'm going to use black liquid dye, and the other three colors are the ones I'm going to use to ice dye the shirt. The first thing that I'm going to do is divide my shirt into three sections using a washable marker. And I'm not going to make the lines just straight lines. I'm going to kind of make them curved. Let's see what that does to the design, if it makes a difference or not. I also want to go ahead and get my silicone cake molds ready to make myself an ice barrier after I've put on the liquid dye. I have a link down below in the description for this video for where I purchased the silicone cake molds. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the shirt over and apply the black dye to the side that I didn't add my lines to. I'm using Raven Black from Dharma Trading Company. I'm trying not to add too much into the center of the shirt, just because I don't want to muddy that whole entire area. I do want to cover all the white on the back of the shirt, but because I haven't added any color on the other side of the shirt, I don't want to oversaturate with the black liquid dye. Otherwise, it will just overtake the entire shirt. Now I'm going to turn the shirt back over and place my silicone cake molds around the shirt. The dye colors that I'm going to use on this side of the shirt are Lime Twist from Custom Colors, Margarita from Dye Spin, and Aqua from Pro Chemical and Dye. I forgot to add the dry soda ash over the top of the dye, but I came back later and added it over the top of the ice. So at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and layer ice on top of the shirt. Once the first layer of ice melted, I came back and added a second layer and allowed it to melt as well. 
Then I left the shirt alone and allowed it to process for at least 24 hours after all the ice melted. So this is what the shirt looks like right before I started to rinse it. And as you can see, most of the dye is dissolved on top of the shirt. One of the green colors still has a little bit sitting on top, but both of the greens, because they're kind of lime colors, have a lot of yellow. And that's pretty common for yellow to just kind of sit on top of the shirt. Yellow is one of the hard colors to get to dissolve when you're doing ice dye. I started rinsing in cold water to rinse out the soda ash that was in the shirt. Then I untied the shirt and warmed the water up to hot to rinse out any of the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. When the water was almost clear, I put the shirt along with a little bit of Dharma's textile detergent into my washing machine and washed it using a hot water cycle. Then after the shirt was washed and dried, this is what it looks like. Okay, so what do you guys think? So I really like the brightness of this shirt. I love lime green paired with black. I think it really makes it pop off the shirt. I was a little bit surprised by the lime twist. It turned out a little bit more green than I thought. I thought it would be a little more lime. And the aqua is very light. That one really surprised me. I thought it would be a little bit darker. The more I look at the shirt though, the more I'm wondering whether or not the green that's right in the middle is coming off of the aqua. I'm starting to think that maybe the margarita and the lime twist are just too close in color and that the really large lime color on the shirt is a combination of both of those two mixed together. That seems a little bit more likely to me. I don't think I've ever used these two colors on the same shirt. And I don't know whether I've ever ice dyed with margarita before. But overall, I really like the shirt. I can't tell that adding the lines or making them curved and applying the dye in that pattern made any kind of a difference though. That wasn't really a big surprise to me either. I just thought I would give it a try. It's always fun to experiment with trying new ways to apply the dye or new techniques to use on a shirt. So if you guys have enjoyed this video and the content, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.